hello everyone and welcome back to another video of our web development series and in this video we are going to learn about for loop so for loop is another way of writing a loop okay now for loop is similar to while loop but instead of testing a condition we are specifying the number of times that we want to loop we want the loop to run okay and if i talk about the <clears throat> syntax it looks something like this let's say for i'll increase the size don't worry let me just write it first okay great so yeah for loop looks something like this okay so what it has it has a word called for which is a keyword obviously and then set of like there's some condition we'll talk about it later then we have set of parentheses and inside it we do some work okay so this is the start like from where do we want the loop to start this is the end okay so we want our variable to start from zero that is a starting point we want the loop to be run till i becomes equal to two or more than two like till it is less than two it would work that is the end condition and then this is how you know i changes I can change by plus one, it can change by minus one, it can change by plus two, like many, many things, but whatever it is that it is, it shows the changes here. Okay. So yeah, this is what a uh, for loop is. Now if you compare for loop with while loop, let's have um for loop as well let uh while loop as well let i is equal to zero we'll say while i less than two okay hmm now we can see that this has been declared here this has been declared here and this has been declared here so if we restructure our while it can be converted into for so as you can see for loop is essentially what we would call in programming sent tactic sugar now don't think it is a very fancy word yeah it is a very complex word no it is not it is just uh how should i say it like how syntax i mean how sugar works it sweetens something so in the similar way syntactic sugar it just sweetens up the syntax as you can see and it makes and makes it a little bit easier for developers and programmers to write i mean you can see this is more concise more better way of writing a loop rather than while i mean people have their own personal preference but this is what i would like okay great now let me just clear it a bit okay and now we'll see how uh for loop works so for that i would delete the while loop syntax and here instead of do something uh i would say let's say console dot log i okay great now what would happen initially i is what zero this is our output window what would happen the code would go inside it would find this line it would print i so initially i is zero great then it would see okay we have a parenthesis so i have to go back to the for loop then 
and like before going back it does the change so what is the change it is i plus plus so i becomes one now so again we come inside i is in uh, one now it is printed then it goes back to the loop i is increased to two then this condition is checked obviously this condition does not meet so we just come out of the loop and this is how my for loop works okay great now here what we are going to do we are going to write the physbus code very fast in like using for loop and i'm not going to explain the code i mean the whole code but i would explain how we use the for loop here but yeah that would be it let's suppose user give it something like num now num is basically how many times the for loop has to work we'll have four let's say let i is equal to zero i less than num we have to start with one and this would be equal to k I would say if num percent three is equal to zero and a num uh we'll have output dot push as fizzbuzz okay I mean you can have the parentheses here okay else if i'd say num percent percent three zero i'll have output dot push fizz output dot push would be buzz okay okay this works now right and in the end i'll just return output okay okay uh, this would be this obviously great and here I will console dot log my output. Let's give it a number twenty for now. Let's save it and let's run it. Let's see. Okay, it would not be output. Uh, it would be func. did it not work okay there is some issue hmm we have our output right here so where is the problem i am not able to figure it out uh, we have func we have number and number is going inside this let's see okay hmm did you get it i hope you got it because there was some bracket errors and here we have to have our console.log output uh, not output it has to be func and we can remove this debugger i mean that's how we debug codes 
and that is how you should be debugging going to like entry points exit points checking if the code is working inside it or not okay but anyways okay it is showing me bus 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 if our number is percent five is equal equal to zero we have to push bus okay hmm i am having no idea right now like ah uh, okay i hope you got it again it would be i here something is wrong with me today but okay it's fine let's just clear the console and let's run it again hopefully everything would work this time and let's see okay 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 this is the final time i'm going to run the code to see if it works or not if it doesn't work you are going to debug it on your own what's the problem you are going to put it in the comment and tell me where i am going wrong but i guess you don't have to because one to face for yeah everything is working 14 15 first was great so there was some uh, silly mistakes but anyways you got it how the for loop is working here right great so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned how we can use for loop instead of while loop and i guess that was all for this video and thank you for watching and see you later